That's a good one. That's a good one. What's up guys, on today's video, we're gonna do some bass fishing and some high winds. We're gonna throw around the umbrella rig. We're gonna throw around the new Lose Elite TI $500 reel. All kinds of fun stuff today. But first, we're trying to get our first bass fishing video with 50 likes. So if you can please smash, annihilate that like button, I would love it. Let's juice that algorithm up so we can crank out more bass fishing content and bring more good eyes and ears to the channel, so hit that like button, and let's go get on the water.
So with all this being said, um, that tells us it's a bottom related bike. I might switch to a jig here in a minute. Typically, it'll give you a bigger bite than a Texas rig. Pumpkin bandito bugs. I like them because they they're flat and they skip really real, well. But uh, besides that, seem like a pretty good natural presentation. If I had some super glue putting it on there, that would probably help preserve these baits. Just wonder now if that fish is on the net. Okay. A little bit better. That going cameraman. are not the quality obviously that we're looking for but they've all been about six feet deep more shallow than that they don't need to be and on the bottom all on the bandito boat
this area, but up and shallow. I'm sitting in six, well now eight feet of water. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I adjusted the cast outward from the bank. It got him bit right away. jig and I had the camera off. I was just seeing if it was casting. First cast, I mean this thing took off with it. Biggest one of the day. Textbook. Found a pattern with a Texas rig, gets more bites. Switch to a jig, gets a bigger bite. We've been catching 13 and a half inch fish. First cast with a jig, more of a test cast, probably a 15 inch fish. So lesson of the day. Cameraman, you're going to get fired. Texas rig because they get a lot of bites. Made a similar cast with the jig with scent with a power bait trailer. It's a Terminator jig, the power bait trailer. And uh, first cast, we got a bigger bite than we were getting by two inches. more or less casting to see if it would work and if it's uh, you know it's a test cast for the rod with the new bait on it cameraman hold it together
out, right? tells us that they are here. So, I don't know, maybe I throw that uh, Six feet deep yep. seems to be the key for me.
that's a good fish. Right, guys just got off the water and uh, we had a pretty good day caught 12 or 13 bass and uh, a little catfish to kick uh, just a kicker there um, yeah nothing too big but I needed that I need I was having a really rough spring so far uh, the weather's been bad high winds it was really windy today as you saw as you'll see um, or as you saw sorry but uh we had that spot lock motor guide to help help hold us still and honestly i would not have been able to fish without that that thing was a lifesaver and it worked great shout out to my buddy chuck uh, lake erie kayak fishing.com a guide get a guy to trip with him or have him rig up your yak um and he rigged mine up and it worked wonderfully and uh yeah so we got on a pattern there as you saw the jig bite was key anything on the bottom uh, see, got a couple on a crankbait, but they were really small. Um, nothing was really big, but, uh, man, they need to fix this road. Nothing was really big, but, uh, the bigger ones definitely came on the jig as is supposed to happen. You know, that's, that's textbook. So, um, yeah, we will get on the water hopefully tomorrow as well at a different spot. Chuck should be with me actually. Should get to hear from him and uh, try to catch uh, some smallmouth and some largemouth on a different body of water. So, thanks for joining. As always, guys, like and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of today's trip. If uh, any experts out there, please tell me what I didn't do right, what I should have done right, and uh, we'll see you next time.